Shalom and good evening, everyone. It's uh, quite hard to follow on after uh, such a, you know, privileged and, uh, and interesting speakers and, and the message that they delivered. Thank you to uh, Van Kapolim for organizing such an incredible event and for asking me to speak. As a former banker myself, it seems that my past life has qualified me to be a speaker at most banking events. But this event is different. Whilst I see a few bankers that I have met previously, there are many people here from all walks of life. Welcome to the UAE. We are proud to be hosting you and hope that you enjoy your trip. A few days ago, we celebrated 49 years since the founding of the UAE and the incredible journey that we have all been on. I'm excited personally for the next 50 years of what the UAE will accomplish and I look forward to being a part of that journey. Whilst it doesn't bear repeating, 2020 has been dominated by politics, protests and a life-changing pandemic. However, it's also been dominated by peace, promise and potential. And it is people that anchor all six of those elements together. People have had to adapt and adopt to new ways of life during 2020. The new normal is still being determined. But what people across the globe have been yearning for this year is bravery, courage, and hope. We're all sitting here together because the leaders of our respective nations embrace that potential. By being brave and courageous, our leaders gave people of this region hope. Hope is a powerful tool, and by working together, we can overcome all obstacles. But there are risks in being brave and courageous. There are still many unknowns, but we will resolve those unknowns together at the same table. There are no winners in isolation unless we're trying to defeat a disease, but even then we need the support of our partners globally. The UAE is a diverse country, and I won't repeat some of the information that's already been shared, but we're proud that we have over 200 nationalities here that live in peace that are looking at how they can grow and develop not just their personal lives, but this country that they call home. We in the UAE are very proud of the fact that we're proactive, we're engaged. We look at how it is that we can embrace change and we make sure that we listen to the private sector and the people that call the UAE home. In Abu Dhabi, we're building an ecosystem to make sure that not only are the key aspects of the economy managed well, but that the government plays an active role in helping to drive private sector economic activity. We've identified the core sectors that we're going to double down on. We've identified the sectors where we believe we have a competitive advantage and we're looking at how we can shift them from their current structure to a structure where they embrace technology. And we've also identified sectors where we believe we can create a competitive advantage. We at the Abu Dhabi Investment Office are proud to support the private sector. We're focused on innovation, knowledge, and really creating an environment where technology is embraced and people learn from one another. We provide substantial financial and non-financial incentives to companies looking to set up in Abu Dhabi that will help us deliver on our aspirations and also help them accomplish their goals. In Abu Dhabi, it's important that I highlight this, but in Abu Dhabi, we view all of our relationships as that. They are relationships. These are not transactions. These are long-term partnerships where we work hand-in-hand -hand with individuals and the private sector to make sure that their respective journeys in Abu Dhabi are managed and supported along the way. Banks are also our partners. They provide the much-needed liquidity and therefore confidence that local and international companies require. By being brave, banks help drive the private sector and the people involved to recommit to the local markets that they call home. We want the banks to play an active role and continue to grow in Abu Dhabi and the UAE, and we support the banks through various programs that we have, including a credit guarantee program. It's been an incredibly busy four months for me personally, but everyone involved with the Abraham Accords and, and the potential that that brings. I have reconnected with some of my favorite people that I haven't spoken to in some time and also made many new acquaintances and friends. And if I can share a personal story, uh, myself and David are actually linked to each other by my old college professor at Columbia. And it just shows that the degrees of separation between us are almost negligible. They don't exist. We know the same people and now it's about sitting at the table and building something together. His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Zayed al-Nahyan, the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and one of the core architects of the Abraham Accords, 
put it as clearly as possible at the height of the pandemic when he told the nation live on TV, La Chilunhem, translated loosely to, do not carry concern or be worried. This is an important statement because the UAE is a long-term partner with a focus on our core asset, human capital. We want thinkers and doers, of which Israel has many, and we will support them extensively. We may have wealth buried in the ground, but our potential rests in the people that call the UAE home. It is not every day that we can look at our history, take out a blank canvas, and rewrite our future. Indeed, adversity is not an obstacle, especially with leadership that we have. It's an opportunity to change, to dream, and to imagine new possibilities. One final thought for me, and as I mentioned earlier, being brave is bold and risky. And if I may paraphrase what the late Shimon Perez said, that then again, nothing fantastic has ever been accomplished through mediocrity. I made that phrase my own, if I may. Thank you to everyone that's here. Welcome to the UAE, my home. And I hope that we can, I, I can personally meet each and every one of you and show you what it is that we're all about. And I look forward to building this partnership with you all. Thank you.